Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be installing tape mod and just adding some extra, uh, some extra foam to the keyboard. Um, but yeah, quickly, if you did watch last video, you do real, uh, you will notice that I said I'm not going to be doing this and it already has foam. It does already have foam, but I have extra foam because I put some foam on my mom's keyboard, so I thought why not add it. And also, I did some research and tape sound is not to reduce contact, it's to make it sound deeper. So we are also going to be installing that. So let's get right on into the video. Um, this is part four of the series. Uh, nextly, we're going to be installing- Sorry about that, my dog just dropped his bone. Nextly, we're going to be installing- uh, new switches and then after that we're probably going to be installing new keycaps uh, I you might notice these keycaps are different than stock These I've had for a year and I don't really like them. I don't think they fit the white that much. So I'm gonna be putting them on This keyboard Razor Huntsman Mini and I'm gonna be getting new keyboards for this one and I will have a link for that um, But yeah, let's get right on into the video and uh, I'm just gonna uh, unscrew the unscrew the top and i'll see you guys when i'm installing the tape on all right guys so i just took this part off um this is where the screws are if you're wondering we have three on on top and on bottom so we're just going to place this to the side and here we have the inside of the case as i said this does come with foam pre-installed but as you see there's a little open area right here and i do have some leftover foam so i'm just going to be putting this right here and i'm gonna be adding more foam just around here so i'm gonna adjust that and i'll be right back after i get that all set all right guys so we've added all the foam inside here we've just put a ton of foam in, foam in here to make it sound a little bit better now i'm gonna just be fast forwarding this part for duct taping the pcb but basically all you do is you just um you just lay it down in strips. It's pretty simple. You'll see in the time lapse. Uh, but yeah, let's get right on into that. All right. Um. So I just finished taping the back of the PCB. As you see, uh, you will have to trim it a little bit, but it. Uh, should look just like that. So now we're going to be screwing it back into the keyboard Okay, so I did forget to mention but you will have to be I you will have to cut holes on the back of this So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some holes just gonna time out this though Okay, so I just finished um, setting everything up. You can't really tell from the outside, but the tape mod's in there, and I did add the foam. So let's go ahead and do a sound test. I'm going to be comparing it from before and after. Let's get right on into that. Okay, so I do think the tape mod is a very good uh, mod to add to your keyboard because it's uh, practically free if you already have your tape at your house. But overall, um, this keyboard does sound a lot better now with that. Makes it sound a little bit more deep. And let me know if you can tell a sound difference because maybe you can't. Maybe you won't want to do this mod. But um, I am going to be comparing them. Uh, 
you will see you would have seen that before this segment uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video um if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like here down below subscribe if you're new and make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the series uh and i'll see you guys in another video all right bye